came in the world crying and fussing. Nigga, we ain't have nothing. Every ghetto, I know the same. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Hotline. I'm back. Brand new video. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you speak in the comments. Comment on the post, man. Let me know what's up. But anyway, I wanted to talk to y'all today, give y'all some motivation, some inspiration. Um, I, sometimes I get DMs about certain topics, so I just I had one earlier today, so I felt like I'd just make a video on it, right? So I wanted to do something different than just barber videos this time. So uh, I'm gonna read what was asked of me, and then. I'll tell you what I think. Same thing I told him, basically. Going to a little in-depth, give a couple tips, give a couple pointers, right? So, let's look at this. So, uh, the guy was telling me that he's about to graduate barber school. Good deal. Right, so, and right before you get ready to graduate barber school, you get all this anticipation. You know, you're hungry. You came a long way. Nine months. It might take you longer. You did fifteen hundred hours. You ready, right? But anyway, so he was telling me he's about to graduate. He also has a full time job, which makes good salary, but he doesn't enjoy it. He enjoys being a barber, and he wants to open his own shop as well. Good point. Good things. It's a lot going on right there. We're gonna come back to it. But he asked the question, right? What's your professional advice? Do I work in a shop part-time and build clientele and get a feel for a shop? Or should I go straight into barbering? If so, should I go into a shop first before opening my own? Now, so let's start from the beginning. He's still in barber school, right? But he had, he's works a part-time job, so I know that it's taking him longer than nine months obviously to do it because you have to go to barber school about eight hours a day right so to in order to every day for five days a week in order to finish in nine months so like financial burden sometimes uh, have you in the position so some of the things i like to tell people sometimes man you know having a job is cool but if, you, if you're going to be a barber, you have to invest your time into it, right? I have a real estate license, but I don't really use it because I use barber the majority of the time. And it's a good thing to have, but you can't put your all into two things at one time. So I understand, though, you know, you have to make money. So, but it will keep you in a certain cycle if you are too dependent on the job, you have to step out on faith, right? Faith is everything with this, right? Being an entrepreneur, faith is everything. You have to believe in what you're doing and you can't worry about some of the things that might come up. You just have to handle it when they come up. But financially, it's tough. I know it sounds, I'm saying it like it's easy, but it's really not. So I understand because I've been there, I've done that, but sometimes jobs hold us back, right? So anyway, let me let me go to the next thing, right? So also he says he doesn't really enjoy his job. He enjoys barbering, which is a good thing. He realized what he really wants to do in life and what he likes to do. He may like the freedom that it really gives him. It allows him to be creative, flexible. He may have kids, he may have uh, somebody he's taking care of, parent-wise, anything, but it's a couple things that he might like about it that his job doesn't offer, right? And then also he said he wants to open his own shop as well. That's always a great thing. You should want to open your own business at some point, right? Uh, even when I go to career day and I talk to kids in middle school, they might tell me they want to be a doctor. Even though they want to be a doctor, you can work in the hospital. I always tell them to start their own practice. I always just believe in starting your own business. That's just me. So that's what I teach to my kids and everything, right? So 
also, so fast forward, he wants my professional advice. Does he work in the shop part time while he works and build his clientele and get a feel for the shop? I definitely think you need to work in a barber shop. Part time is only going to produce part time results, right? So it may seem like it's working, but it's going to take a toll on you eventually, and you're only going to get half results. You're going to be very tired from this. So again, you have to find something to put your all into, right? So you're going to have to get a structure. Either you're going to have to just work that job and barbering is going to be part-time or you're going to be a barber full-time and the job is going to be part-time. You can't go part-time, part-time and make it full. It just don't work that way, right? So also, um, should he just go straight into barber? And if so, should he go straight into a shop first before opening his own? I cannot tell you if you need to go straight into barbering. What I personally probably would do would be to go straight into barbering because I believe in it that much, but I've done it already, so it I know what it takes. And it was it would seem easy to me, but for somebody who hasn't, it wouldn't be that simple, right? So if you were to go straight into barbering, right? Yes, you should go into the shop first before opening your own. You need to work in a professional environment. Barber school is barber school. It's okay. They teach you the basics just of cutting hair. Enough to pass the test. They teach you, you know, sanitation and sterilization, how to cut hair, a couple different techniques. Just enough to get you to pass a test. They don't really teach you the real world experiences of a barber shop, which you can only get from experience right so i feel like yes you should go work in the barbershop before you open your own um that's the best way to be successful with it so another thing with that i told him if when you do do that or if you decide to do that shop selection is important which he said brought him to his next point Shop selection, right? He said, should it be based on activity or culture? Now, when I was a young barber at first, I was uh, 20 years old, 21, 21, no, 22 years old when I got my barber's license. So at that time, I was young. Yeah, I wanted to be where everything was going on. Now, like I was telling him, Activity doesn't always mean good because it could be the wrong activity, right? We all know some of the stuff that happens at barbershops. You know, you got this going on, that going on. That's activity, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't just say pick a barbershop based on the activity. I told him that you want to find out what you want from the barbershop. So culture is another thing, right? For me, I would tell young barbers to go to a barber shop where you can learn from. You might not have to stay there forever, but you have to be able to learn from it, you know, and teach you how to be a professional and get to where you're going so you can get to the next level in your life with barbering or the next stage of your life with barbering, right? So for me, activity is not everything. It's all about what you can learn in the environment that you're in if you can build a real clientele there because too much activity, you won't have kid clients, you won't have women clients, you won't have older clients. You'll have a certain set clientele, you know. Uh, I had a, I was at a shop at first where it was just a lot of D-boys, so you know, a lot of D-boys and, you know, D-boys, they do their thing. They, they here for a minute, then they go on vacation. For a while, you lose money and everything like that. So, you know, and then eventually I moved to a, a cleaner environment, a shop where I can learn how to be professional. Then I started learning how to make, um, have my clients book their appointments, right? 
book appointments, clean environment, no music, uh, clean music, no cuss words in it. You know, you want to be respectful because you want to build a clientele because you want you want to be able to have families come to you because if you got a, a husband and wife and they got three boys, right? That's they have three boys plus the husband. That's that's for clients right there. So you want to make the environment friendly enough, kid friendly, family friendly, so you can build your clientele. That's how you want to do it. You want to be able to do those things so you can prosper in the business. You know, don't lose track of what's really going on. And when you learn all those things and you feel like you're ready to take the next step, then you go open up a barbershop. You know, it took me a while to learn all that. I had to go through a lot of different things because I, I never had anybody break it down for me like that. You know, so I just did it on my own. But I can actually share this with you and, and give you some insight on what's going on. Your speech will process up a lot faster. So once I learned all those things, I opened up my own barbershop. So, you know, uh, take the necessary steps. Think about what you want from barbering. Think about what you want from the barbershop that you start in. And this, this applies to a lot of other things. Even if you go work a regular nine to five, hey, you want a job that's gonna have you there from nine to five, or you want a job that's gonna be from eight to 12, you know, because you gotta pick up your kids or you have to do other things. You got a parent that you gotta take care of, anything like that, you, you might want a job that's flexible. You have to ask yourself what you really want. You have to find out from you what you really want from your career and things that you're trying to accomplish so i just wanted to share that uh, i didn't want to use the person's name i i gave him the same advice that i'm telling you but this is more in depth so a few things you need you need faith you need patience you need self-discipline you need to have a structure all those things are going to go together and become an entrepreneur right again that's faith patience self-discipline structure you know and remember to just set small goals every day to get where you want to go you know what i mean so that's what i wanted to talk about today that's my inspirational quote don't forget to leave comments in the comment section you know, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You know, let me know how I did. Let me know what I can talk to you about. You know, uh, I like answering questions, so please leave them. Inbox me if you don't feel comfortable leaving the questions out in the open. Inbox me, I'll answer. Whatever, I can make another video for whatever you want to see. So, anyway, see y'all next time. Peace.